In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Wordscapes activity called Mount Fortune. This new activity is basically a game within a game. It was rolled out to players during the summer of 2023. The main attraction of this game is to collect all the portraits of the Animal Royalty Portraits set. As of 2023, it is the only way to collect these items within that set. You can also win crowns, rockets, hints, coins, bees, and hearts. Every 24 hours, you automatically earn a free play of Mount Fortune. Mount Fortune is basically a slot machine type of play. You are presented with four cards, and you get to choose one. You win the prize behind the card. However, sometimes there is a rock behind the card. If you hit a rock, you will have to pay to keep the prizes that you have won so far, or you can quit and lose everything you won during this Mount Fortune session. Each time you turn over a rock in the session, the amount you have to pay increases. For example, the first rock only costs you 25 coins to save your prizes. The next is 75, then 150, 300, 600 up to 1,000, 200 coins. You can lose a lot of coins pretty quickly this way. When I first started playing Mount Fortune, I would try to choose random cards in the hopes that I could avoid the rocks. But I was always frustrated, and it seemed like I would hit a rock just before the rewards levels no matter what card I randomly chose. So I decided to do an experiment. I would choose the same card every time and track the results. After a month of collecting data, I found that no matter what cards you choose, there is a 66% chance that you will hit a rock on level 4, so almost two times out of every three chances. Also, there is a 100% chance that you will hit a rock before you reach level 10. As you get to the higher levels, there is also a 100% chance that you will hit a rock at some point when trying to reach the next reward level. For example, if you made it to level 10 and want to get to level 15, which is the next reward, you will definitely run into a rock in one of the next levels before reaching level 15. So just know that you are not doing anything wrong when you pick a card. It doesn't matter which card you pick. The cards just give you the illusion that you have some control over what prizes you get, but you don't have any control. You just have to take what they give you. I don't think there is necessarily a problem with this, but it's just important to keep in mind. Just realize that you are going to pay to get through the last levels. Let's go through an example of my daily free play. I have never seen a rock behind the first set of cards, so you are safe in round one. Great, I won five hearts, so I can take my prize and quit, or I can keep going to round two. Since the most I'll have to pay is 25 coins to keep my prizes if I hit a rock next, I'll keep going. Okay, now I have won another five hearts. Let's go. Level three, I won an animal portrait. This is great. Level four, a single B. So we got lucky and didn't hit any rocks on level four. Now we got to the first big prize level, and we got three more Bs. Let's keep climbing up Mount Fortune. Okay, our first rock blocking our way up Mount Fortune. Now we have a decision to make. Do we pay the 25 coins to keep our prizes? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's continue. Since I'm always choosing the same card in the bottom left, when I hit a rock, I just choose the card in the top left. Okay, 15 more hearts on level 7, one more B on level 8, and two Bs on level 9. Two more animal portraits is my big prize on level 10. Amazing. 10 more hearts on 11. Oh no, another rock. Hit on level 12. Should we keep going? It's only 75 coins, so I'm going to go for it. Excellent. A crown to increase my crown point for the fall season. Boom. Another rock. I guess we have to pony up the 150 coins since the reward level is next. Oh well. So now this session is costing me 250 coins. Not really the huge prize I was hoping for. Some bees. Normally, I would probably quit now at level 15 and take my prizes. But for the sake of the video, let's go to level 20. It's going to cost me another 300 coins at least to get to level 20. Yep, I knew it. A rock right on the next level. Okay, good. Another portrait on 17. 20 more hearts on 18, not too bad. Ah, uh, ah, uh, another rock. That's another 600 coins, but we've come too far to give up now. Hopefully we'll get some coins to make up for our losses. Okay, crown points, I'll take that. But I'm getting out now with my rewards, so it cost me 1,050 coins this time up Mount Fortune. Hopefully that was a good example of what you can expect with Mount Fortune. Here is something interesting that I found on another channel. You can change which prizes you are going to win without losing any coins. Check this out. It looks like I am going to be playing for bees and hearts. But if I start to play and then immediately exit, you can see I lost no coins. Now when I go in to try and play again, my prizes have changed. You can do this as many times as you want. This is great if you have something specific you want, 
like a certain portrait or hints, for example. Thanks to the YouTuber Marching Ducks for highlighting this on their channel. In my opinion, this has been a really great addition to Wordscapes. It not only draws players back to the game every day so they can claim their free play and prizes, but the animal royalty portraits were fun to collect as well. The key is just to be patient. I started off patiently trying to gather the animal portraits for a few months. But I got impatient when I had the last few portraits left, and I ended up spending about 25,000 coins one day to finish the set. But if you are patient, you will eventually collect enough portraits to complete the animal royalty set. This is because even if you don't get one of those hard-to-find portraits, like the lion, for example, during your play, they will reward you with new portraits for duplicates that you do collect. For every 20 duplicates you get, you are rewarded with a new portrait that you do not have. Here's an example. Let's say you have collected all 15 frogs. If you were to get 20 frogs over a few days of playing Mount Fortune, then they will give you two new portraits that you have not collected yet. One of the really great things about Mount Fortune is the ability to increase your crown points. If you are having trouble winning or placing in the top three in tournaments, you won't be able to get the top crown for the season. But if you can win enough crown points in Mount Fortune, it might just be enough to get you to that top level crown. Even if you can normally win the top crown, this will get you bigger crowns sooner and take some of the pressure off. Then you don't have to worry about winning your tournament that week. Hopefully this video has answered all your questions about the Wordscapes mini game, Mount Fortune. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Wishing you lots of crowns and rockets this week. Good luck.